Hey guys, and welcome back to another one of my Valheim videos. In this video, I'll be explaining how to find and defeat Valheim's fourth boss, Moda, otherwise known as the Dragon Boss. And funnily enough, he's actually a wyvern, but anyway, if this is the first of these videos you're watching, I'll try and make this as quick and concise as I can. And if you find this video useful or think you'll need help with other Valheim tips in the future, consider liking the video and subscribing to the channel. I also stream on Twitch daily, which is on screen now. Anyway, on to the video. First, we'll cover how to find the boss. This part can be the hardest and may take quite a bit of exploration time to actually discover the boss's location, but it helps to know exactly what you're looking for. So let's get into that. You'll need to find stone structures in the mountain biome guarded by skeletons. Now, we'd gone through almost 10 mountain ranges before we actually found this in my world seed. To the point we actually found the summoning spot for the boss before the stone that gives you the location of the summoning altar. But essentially, you're looking for a rune stone with red carvings inside of one of these stone structures that will reveal the location of Moda to you. Once you know its location on the map, you can start preparing for your fight. To summon Moda, you'll need to find three dragon eggs, and these can be found in the mountain ranges as well, and are marked by their blue and purple glow, which you can see at quite a distance. You'll probably have already collected enough of these by the time you find the stone detailing Moda's location so we'll move straight into your equipment that you'll need. I recommend a set of silver armor for this fight and a wolf fur cape. With other fights, you might get away with upgraded lower stage armor, but for this one, it can really help to have that extra frost resistance from the silver armor. Motor is going to hit you with frost damage, so anything you can bring to the fight that is going to reduce that will aid you significantly. And this is the same reason I also recommend frost resistance meads, which can be made in your cauldron and fermented in the fermenter. These last four 10 minutes so you should only need one for the entire fight and any health potions that you can bring along as well will be a huge help. In terms of weaponry, Moda spends a large amount of its time in the air during the fight so I'd recommend a Draugafang bow and plenty of fire arrows. Fire arrows are going to do a heap of damage to Moda. Aside from that, obsidian arrows are also a good call for straight damage rather than the damage over time fire arrows provide. Moda has a ground phase and an air phase. During during the air phase, he will hurl ice projectiles at you, so when you see him winding up for this attack, simply sprint to your right or left and avoid the attack. The ground phase is fairly straightforward, so long as you're able to pull him around a little and stay at range, or you can bring a silver shield and that will allow you to block his attacks if absolutely necessary. Defeating Moda will give you access to black metal crafting through the placement of an artisan table using dragon tears, as well as a blast furnace, which is your next crafting step. I'll be following this video shortly with a guide on how to acquire black metal scraps for crafting your new set of armor and what it can craft so make sure to keep your eyes open for that one and subscribe to the channel for more Valheim tips and guides. Good luck on your fight with Moda and I will see you in the next one.